it's spring driven. Hey guys, welcome back. I made some experiment with my Galileo escapement clock. It's spring driven, it will rewind. The idea was to have something easier to display because there's not a weight and a string hanging down. So it's easier, you can move it around. Look. The other thing that I did experimenting with improving the escapement. The thing is if you want, I'm going to publish the files, but if you want to change, if you already made one and you want to change, you can just change the top, it will fit the rest of the frame. For the rewind and the spring, I had to add some more parts to the bottom frame, so that would be a little bit different. Rewind. Here's the key. And here, that's some speed. Because it's a 3D printed spring, it will not run for very long. But the, the first try had 20, about 20 minutes. Now, with the spring wearing out, maybe a little bit less. Anyway, let's we'll see. And another view on the spring it has six layers of 0.4 millimeter. This one was an experiment, has 10 millimeter depth. What I did here, the escape wheel is smaller, and then the poles are longer. So that allows me to have less, a little bit less swing on the pendulum. Back side. And then rewind. Like this. Here are some of the experiment with the pallets that I made. You can see there's different ends, different shape and that's pretty much the what I got at the end. My idea is if you rewind the spring backwards when you store the clock, it should preserve some of the energy that it stores. We'll see how it works. So here it is, my upgraded experimental Galileo 3D printed clock with a spring and improved escape mode. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.